So, Newbury for our race 10. It's over two and a half miles in Auto 140 handicapped. Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson and Lake St. Croix for number one and two. Gold Coast for Craig Beckwith, Charmbury Brady for David Robertson, the Ranting Aunt, Pontypool Racing along with Psychopath. Major Left for Alex Cherry, Corinier for Dubrovny for Thomas Rogers, Outcry for David Robertson, Fires at Midnight for Martin Leadham, Third Glass for Alex Cherry, Langley Sultane for Thomas Rogers, Northern Life for Kevin Meanahan, Mutty for Stu Gray, and Trouble Evelyn for James Shea. Fifteen. So you each way punters don't get the fourth place. They're racing. Get to win the Betfair handicap chase here at Newbury. Race 10. Week 9. And I'll mention. So we wait for them all to reach the first here. And go over it together. Slowest jump was Gold Coast. Get into the second, which is a small ditch. Again, pretty much close order here. There's only three, four lengths between the, the entire field, although the ones are going really wide. As we get to the third, poor slow jump there by Psychopath at the rear. Might be stepped over it. The move is not too vicious, of course, on the bends. As we come down to the fourth, they swing. out. It's the water, which will be the last next time round. We really haven't had a leader here. They've flip-flopped everywhere. We'll go past the grandstand shortly enough. It's just fires at midnight, closest to us. It's just nosed in front. We'll have to go through uh, three quarters of a mile to get a leader. No outcries there, as well as Cape Solitude. It takes a hold from major left. This is out wide. Uh, too short. I think it's Lake St. Croix. As you see, some of them are starting to shuffle a little bit back, and that's giving the advantage to Fires at Midnight as they run down here. So it's Fires at Midnight for Martin Lee than the leads. It's by a couple of lengths from Outcry and Cape Solitude. And Alex Cherry's major left up against the fences for glass. In between those is Langley Sultane. As they'll go, on. we've lost one. Trouble Evelyn's gone for James Shea. Didn't see the fall amongst the main pack. So we're down one. And it's still Fires at Midnight that lead us. To around about the halfway mark as we go over this small open deal. We lost another, this time it's Verglass for Alex Jerry that's down. He's still got another one in here, which is major left. But it's far at midnight, it takes them over the eighths and the halfway through the fences here. We'll go over that well. I'm starting a little bit, uh, some of the uh, pilots here could certainly have tagged over by now. Definitely uh, a problem in starters all this running wide and staying out wide. But anyway, as far as at midnight, it's still got the lead from Gold Coast that's done well to get up into second, Cape Solitude's third, then we've got Sean, Bree Brady in fourth, fifth is Mutley, we get to the tenth, and seven from home, and it's still fires at midnight that's leaving us. Gold Coast has taken a hold now, as Cape Solitude moves in and tries to close the gap, and we've got Sharnbury Brady, Northern Life and Corrie de Brogny still running well, Mutley's in there. That Lake St. Croix still out wide, Psychopath's the widest of all, planting out towards the rear and against the fence. But uh, major left of Alex Cherry. Outcry I haven't mentioned, there's another day where Robinson also would move pack. So as we come down to the final six, it's Fires at Midnight. Oh, Fires at Midnight's gone. Didn't uh, mark that one well. So there's another one down, and that's left mainly Sultane and Cape Solitude up front from Charmbury Brady in third. Pushing through now is Kevin Meanahan's Northern Life. And inside of that, you've got Coralie Dubrovny for Thomas Rogers. Out wider is Outcry and Gold Coast. Moving well off the fence now is Psychopath and running on as well as the Ranty and Aunt as they get to the 12th. So five from home. And it's Langley Sultane that leads us from Charmbury Brady and Cape Solitude. They get to the 13th. It came quick. So it's Langley Sultane and Charmbury Brady. Everything's got a chance in this still. There's a few being tugged out wide again, but they're going to have to go over the 14th well together. Poor jump there by Outcry, but it's Shambri Brady that takes it up just by half a length from Cape Solitude and Langley Sultane. Running on well still is Northern Life to go over the penultimate. Couple stepped over and it's Langley Sultane from Cape Solitude. So it's Cape Solitude inside the final two furlongs. It's Cape Solitude from Langley Sultane on the inside. Running on well on the outside. Now poor jump there by Northern Life and he's shuffled backwards, but it's Cape Solitude that's still holding up all these from 
Furlong to uh, Furlong to run and Langley Sultana wide is Lake Saint Croix, but it's Cape Side Two that's still holding them all off here. The top weight, the top weight's going to take the Betfair handicap chase, and it's an easy win for Cape Solitude. But Darren Thompson, well done, wins off 12 stone. Alex, get that get get that weight pumped up. Can't have that in a in a handicap. But at Cheltenham next week so it's Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson got first and third because he's Thomas Rogers split them with Langley Sultane Psychopath of Pontypool Racing got up for fourth and Charmbury Brady for David Robertson was fifth and I think we're off to somewhere else now it's uh, around the country oh no I think we've got one more from oh no we're not we're off to Lingfield bye <laughs>